company has been working with uh, Indian industry for many, many years, well over 50 years, on various projects, notably the, the Milan uh, Native Geo weapon. And his strategy has always been to uh, advance the partnership model within the country, treating India more as a partner than as a solely as a customer. But it was clear with uh, the developing DP, DPP requirements that to become more and more involved in the Indian defence industry sector, we had to have a more solid partnership. Not a casual partnership, but, but a more formal partnership. So in 2017, in February, after many years of, uh, of looking around, of, of, of experience working with different Indian companies, we settled on a joint venture agreement with the major Indian industrial conglomerate, Larson Tubro. So in 2017, we signed a JV uh, with, the, with the distinct intention of making a positive impact on the Indian, Indian defence industry sector by introducing European top-level technology into the country, which could be then developed by the JV uh, and developed to, to meet Indian specific requirements and obviously, of course, manufactured in the country as well uh, to Indian requirements and also potentially the export market as well. So for us, this was a, a major move forward, a major step in our, in our uh, partnership strategy and for the last two years the JV has gradually been uh, formalised legally uh, in, in, in terms of working up the, the management structure, in terms of working up the kind of programmes and, and requirements that the, uh, the JV would best suited for to, to uh, propose to the Indian marketplace. So if you, if you look at some of the products that uh, uh, we're interested in, of course Mika is a major product, Mika the air to air missile, uh, it's a major product for, for, for India and it features as part of the Mirage 2000 upgrade and last in Tubro in its uh, Kumboto site is already making a major contribution to the, to the production of certain elements of the missile as well as the launch system. So you can see already the, the JV is, is, is working, we're working together with our LNT partners on, on, on concrete production activities. But of course, what we're looking at is, is much more than uh, working on components of a, of a particular missile. We're looking at uh, the potential of making the whole product here in India. And that's where we've got, we've got big hopes for a, a future ATGM weapon, which obviously India has, a, has expressed a strong requirement for. And uh, we're hoping that uh, we can interest the Indian armed forces with uh, something we're referring to as the AGM-5, which is based on uh, in the MMP missile that's already in service, the French armed forces has been tested extensively um, under various conditions, and our hope is that uh, working based on that MMP technology could be of interest and could meet the requirements of the Indian armed forces. And the idea behind that would be that should we get the go-ahead, then using the basis of that MMP te technology, which is very, very top level, obviously, India can, well, GV can develop and advance the product to meet the very specific requirements of the Indian Armed Forces in terms of the range, in terms of the kind of platform, whether it's from a tripod, from a vehicle, uh, and of course the kind of warhead as well. So that for us is, a, is a, one of the main drives at the moment. Of course we've got a range of other products that we're proposing, and these are products that would, um, should be accepted, uh, be manufactured in India under, under license. A bit like, uh, a bit like um, the arrangement we had with Milan and the, and the, the BDL company. Um, so these products include the C-1 PNL, which is a helicopter-launched uh, weapon. Again, state-of-the-art, the most modern technology, being developed jointly by France and the UK. Uh, a very unique product. It's, 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 it's a world beater. And, and again, if, if India should show interest in that, then all that technology could be delivered to the, the JV, and the JV could then produce a weapon here in India. Uh, we're also looking at uh, a Simbad RC naval air defence system. It's a very short range naval self defence system and again on the same basis as, as, as the sea uh, venom I just mentioned that, would, that could then be produced in India which makes a lot of sense for the Indian industry because Simbad RC uses the same Mistral missile that uh, features on the ATAM system which, which has been fitted to 
took it between helicopters, the, 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 the ALH Ruder and the LCH, like common helicopter, which are on display here at uh, Air India, each with its atom launcher and each with its complement of Mistral missiles. So that's exactly the same missile that would be on the Simodasi Naval Air Defense System. And, interestingly enough, also the same missile on the, um, that features on the Mistral man pads that we're still promoting for the Indian V Shorad requirement. Um, a novelty on, 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 the, on the joint venture stand is a product known as Smart Glider. This is a product that doesn't actually exist yet. It's a product that's been discussed based on various requirements that the NDA has, has uh, come to understand. It's a, a long-range glide weapon uh, with, with high precision, capable of um, striking both static and moving targets. Uh, and the Indian Air Force has in the past expressed an interest in some kind of weapon like that, with a the high, with a high load capability. The, 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 the concept behind the smart glider weapon is that up to about 18, 18 weapons can be carried quite comfortably on, a, on an aircraft, like a, like a Rafale, for example. Uh, and that, that would be very much a uh, potential dormant program for the JV to, to uh, get stuck into and advance, again, to meet Indian requirements.